in fact, see a difference in the um, manual ability um, with the um, recreation program with all of my children. Um, what I found with um, with um, my youngest is that um, he he even at the age of two he's already picking up a pencil and he is believe it or not holding a pencil properly and wanting to write and he has very very um, um, excellent fine motor coordination with uh, you know fine motor skills um, I found that with my um, older daughter even though I started her program of breakation at um, three and a half, her writing skills improved dramatically. Um, and I found with my um, second daughter, I started her at eight months because that's when I learned of the program uh, with her. And uh, her writing skills were um, much improved very early on. So I did see a big difference in writing and also playing musical instruments. Both They both play piano and violin, and I found that when they were doing a, uh, an excellent recreation program, they, they catapulted ahead with uh, violin and, and skills in the piano. We can teach children any physical activity we want to teach them, providing we're willing to set an example for them, and that really means doing it with them, and of course to create an enthusiastic example and give them lots of opportunities. So set an example, enthusiasm, and lots of opportunity, and we can win with anything. Still at level five is to teach our kid how to run. This is important from a respiratory standpoint particularly, and if we look at the profile here, and we see the difference between your average 18-month-old, this is level five, which we're developing now, and we see that the average 18-month-old has 10 to 25 words of language and two word couplets. And then here, we see the average three-year-old, he can walk and run in a complete cross pattern, and he has 2,000 words of language and short sentences. Well, you know, what's the difference between the average 18-month-old and the average three-year-old? Well, if you know the average three-year-old, you know you can't shut him up. Uh, he's constantly talking his head off. And here, the average 18-month-old has only 10 to 25 words of language. Does that mean that the average 18-month-old is a quiet, sedentary little being? Well, no, if you've got that 18-month-old around the house, you know he's a wild man, too. The difference is that the 18-month-old, he actually has hundreds of words of language. The problem is that only we can understand 10 to 25 of those 100 words of language. Well, you know, that's a pretty frustrating existence. If you can pretty much understand everything that's going around you, and you're trying to communicate and people are understanding maybe 10% of what you're trying to communicate. I mean, that pretty lousy existence if we adults had to go through that. And the difference has to do with how well respiration has developed, and that in turn develops language. People tend to think this thing here, you know, the tongue is so important for language. Well, yes, of course, the tongue is important for language. but then respiration is ignored, where respiration is an incredibly important factor. We can use running as a means of developing children's respiration, and of course, brachiation is a factor as well, in order to help the children take those hundreds of words of language that we can't understand here at this level and turn it into language that we can understand. And that makes for more capable competent 18-month-olds. Now, how can we make the kid run? Well, of course, we don't want to make the kid do anything. Uh, we want to prepare the child neurologically, and we can do that with having him walk in the, the three terrains that we mentioned. Um, we can